everyone. Sophie, can you say hi? Come on, you go up here and sit. I'm going to join Cat Hands Mixed Media Morsel. Uh, what is this one called? Bag book. And what I needed to do is get a folder, and I have a bunch of blue folders, so I decided to use it. And then um, cut it to fit these our little snack bags. So I did that. Then she, she suggested reinforcing the center where the um, you know the rubber band's going to hold them all together. And this is some like medical tape or something that I had. I don't know. I think it's going to work. Then what I'm going to do is use some of this. These were napkins that I um, glued or mod podge to some like tissuey paper. And I'm just going to cover the cover with this. And I have several different pieces that I want to use. So I got my Maj Podge here. And this Maj Podge has got some sparkle to it. So that's going to make it even fancier. So I want to get this part done. Okay, so really, how about you take this? This smells like kitty food. So you go over there. I um, kept the bag, you know, just a picture from the bag of kitten food because it's just so cute. And Sophie can smell that. Sophie likes that food better than her own food. So we are dealing with trying to keep her from eating that. And I took them both to the vet the other day for a checkup. Sophie had to have a, a shot. Oh, she was just ornery. I don't think I ever heard her hiss so much. She hisses at the kitten still, but she was just going crazy at that vet. And, um, but she's lost a little weight. That was kind of the purpose of getting Rudy because she doesn't get enough exercise. And then, um, you know, Rudy, <laughs> here, Ru Sophia lost weight, but the vet thought Rudy was a little too chubby for her age, and I thought, she's a kitten. <laughs> We're already fat shaming the cat. It's like, ugh. Anyway, I, I am very careful about the food I feed them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So then this is another napkin that I want to use that I'm going to put on here. And this is going to have to dry. So if you haven't seen any of Cat Hand's um, mixed media morsels, they're amazing. And I had all this stuff to do this one and I really want to use up my stuff. So <laughs> that's why I'm doing this. Put a little of this on top. Oh, I hope I'm in camera. I'm using my iPhone to do this, so this is just a little different for me. So I want to do this, cut this in half, and then fold this one in half again. So I just want to make sure I use all this. I mean, I have drawers and drawers of stuff that I did that I need to get rid of. I really want to clean up this art room and downsize it some, but then you have this stuff that's like, oh, I love this. I don't want to use it. And that's just insane. But that would be me. I think that's a lot of us. We just have things that we think are so cool that we need to keep. And then forget that we have it. Alright, so then I'm going to put a piece, this piece down there. I'm just trimming off this extra. This tissue was I think from like what um, an architect used or somebody that like they make drafts or something. I don't know. I should have put that one there. Okay, so I'm going to have to put a little bit I, oh, I did cut some of that pink. I'm going to have to put a little bit of this up here. 
before I put that on. Must be what I cut off of there, so well. Yeah, put it like that. To See, and by putting the napkin on this stuff, you know, I can move the napkin around a little bit more. You know, it just makes it a little bit more papery or something so that, see, I can lift that. Now, if it was just a napkin, it would, it would tear quite a bit. I'm going to cut this piece so I should tear it. I'm going to tear this piece a little bit. There we go. I like that softer edge. Oh, that piece is pretty. I think I'll put that piece down on there too. Alright, so then I want to cut this off because I want to make that edge a little bit more even. So this is going to be tricky because it's wet. Could have just folded it over. There we go. Just tore it off. Okay, so then I want to put this on here. Yeah, so maybe this edge is a little fatter. I'm going to put a little Maj Paj on here. really like the smell of Maj Paj. I imagine a lot of people don't, but I for some reason like the smell. It's kind of different. <laughs> okay. And I want to put a little bit over here, if I can, like right there. Now, um, Kat even has pieces that you can purchase to do these covers and stuff. So she's out there to really help you. All right, so this is going to have to dry. And then I'll probably, oh, I forgot to put it here, didn't I? I'll probably do something completely different on the inside of the cover, but that, that will get done later. Okay, so there is the cover. I'm gonna clean up the, then the first page was all about circles. And Kat made this really cute, um, stamp out of a piece of foam, fun foam, I think, and she made a stamp and stamped her first page with that. A piece of extra. Okay, so that's gonna sit there and dry. Yeah, the first page I think is like this, this side, the opening side. And she took the pages out to work on her own. So her first page was circles, and she made a stamp and stamped it. And I could do that, but I have a bunch of circles that I cut out when I got my new die. And I wanted to use, oh, here's a good one. This, this I could use and stamp on the inside. And this is has a sticky back, so I'm wondering if this will come off when I want it to come off. I was using, I got this, a whole package of this sticky back green paper at a garage sale. I mean, like a ream of it. And I think it was probably, I don't know, 50 cents or a dollar or something really inexpensive. I think I'm gonna try putting that on this first page. That'll give me the circle like she has. Let's see if we can get it up bit. Maybe I can even fold that inside there because then that would really reinforce this edge. Okay, there's one kind of circle. Oh, I know. Here's a little something. Just a little something. And it has circles on it too. I'll 
do is this is from some paper I was just using for my next um, ticket no my next artist trading card kit project so I might put that up here so I'm just going to kind of collage this first page with circles in the middle and then put something else there like half circles I could cut these in half oh I know okay so I think I'm going to just trim this part that. that's going to go there these black ones maybe I'll put the black ones I'll do that okay so I think I'll glue this not mosh posh it It's fun using up all these little pieces, and um, I got those ideas from Gail, and I'm not going to try her last name again because I'm not sure I have it right, but oh, Gail's got a lot of good ideas too. There are so many talented people out there. It is just crazy. Yet, does it? <laughs> okay. Then, oh, I got these beautiful stickers from Cat in my Christmas card. Those are definitely going to have to go on here. Well, let me let me do the underneath part first. Okay, so now I want to do some painting. I got a couple of new dis Distress Oxy. I'm not sure about this. You know, everybody loves this, but I don't, I don't know if I understand it. <laughs> so this one is Pickled Raspberry. Let's see what happens if I just put a few dots on here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I want to get some different sized ones too. Let's see. Bought these pens for making dots because <clears throat> I really wanted to make dots on rocks when I'm up north. I like painting rocks. <laughs> they are really fun. Alright, so they have Two, four, six different size dots. It just seemed like something I had to have. There's a really tiny, almost piercing one. That one has a lid on it. Let's see, does this open now? Okay, so this is kind of a bigger one. I think I will use ink. So I have some of that close by. Let's see how that works. This is, oh, I don't know if this is the biggest one. I think it would work better if I used paint, especially on this ink. Now on a little rock, that would be very cool. Let's see, is this, oh, these two, oh, these two are even bigger. Okay, I'm gonna get some paint. This is old paint. Ooh, look how old that is. Okay, so I only need to do go into the lid. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, that's much better. Look at the size of those dots. Ooh, gotta do it each time now. Kind of messy. And too hard. Some of this delusions paint, this 
noisy. I'll just put this one right in the center and work from there out now. Um, I'm going to make some circles around that circle and i got to make sure I have pens that will work. Now this is a memento pen. Let's see. Put this right on this bag. These ba oh yeah, these bags are like a little waxy. So I didn't know if it would work. Okay, so now I want to do some doodling, like um, untangling kind of thing, to fill in the rest of the blank space. And it's not perfect, but it's fun. And that's what the mixed media morsels are all about. It's using your stuff and having fun. And learning. <laughs> you learn a lot when you do cats challenges. Okay, so I think we'll do this every other way and hope I have enough to make it make sense. Okay, so then I'm gonna put some dots inside there. I think I'll put some yellow ones. I used to use, you know, the ends of pens or toothpicks or, you know, whatever I could find. And when I saw the this these tools, I thought, oh, this will make it so much easier to get different sized dots and hold it just right, clean up okay, and all that. Other around the outside of that with tinier yellow dots. See if I can do that. It's kind of fun if you, you know, your first one's bigger and then they get smaller as you, as the paint comes off of it. Yeah, Cat is really, amazing inspiration in all that she does. She just has such a creative mind and such talent. Oh, it's amazing. I haven't done a video of just crafting in a long time. It's mostly my Christmas cards and artist trading cards. And I have an artist trading card coming up really soon for your paper pantry. And if you haven't checked out your pan paper pantry, that's a really fun place to get ideas too. And join swaps and share and meet people. I think I might have met Kat there. And some lines, I said, so I'll use this pen to make some lines. Or some arrows, maybe arrows. arrows. Well, kind of what I want to do is when it all dries to make lines all the way out, all the way around. So I'm going to let that dry and just see how that turns out. But that's almost my first page in my book. I took a flare pen. I love these. I, when I was a little girl, my dad used to bring home these once in a while from work, and I, I've always loved flare pens. I love to write with them. Anyway, I kind of have an addiction to pens anyway, like everybody else. Well, what I did is I took the flare pen and I just drew lines with that. Um, I put a little bit of paint in these little flowers down here, and then I. I got these like washi tapes. It was a free gift. Um, I might. I think it might have been from Simon Says Stamps. They're really kind of fun. They have nice little sentiments and then I don't know samples of washi. But this one says, 
got to take my thing out of my mouth. It says, be open to what comes next. I thought that's kind of fun with this little book because I gotta be open to what Cat comes up with. So it's kind of a busy, messy page, but it was a lot of fun. So thank you, Cat, and head on over to Cat Hands um, videos. She is amazing. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.